The whole tone of this, there's such a, a real melancholy undercurrent in the show. How did you guys balance the comedy, the mystery, and the sadness that hangs over it all? Was it something you ever had conversations about, or did it feel natural that it came out that way? Well, we did have conversations. First of all, you know, it, it, this uh, blend comes from many sources, starting with the writer's room, and then uh, starting with the development of the characters. and. Uh, and then time shooting. Uh, but a lot of the um, episodes of, we call it more sober experiences, really uh, from, from the writing. Yeah, I thought it was such a great blend between all of that. It, it just, it, it makes this whole, the whole murder mystery of it all so interesting. And, and I absolutely love the dynamic that develops between this trio. What did you guys most enjoy about your own little trio as actors? By the time you got to the end of making this, what did you most enjoy about working with and spending time with each other? Well, I think that, that again, an actor can only control the experience of, of working on it. They can't control the end result. You never know. Um, and I think we all appreciated that. So everyone was there to have a great time to make the crew laugh, to make the atmosphere um, seductively positive. And I think we all shared that instinct. There's a saying in weightlifting called no pain, no gain, but it's the opposite in movies. Pain, no gain. Uh, so we made it a point to sort of get together and get along and, and get the job done and have fun while we're doing it. But you, when you talk about lifting weights and you're in your gym, what are you pressing? I'm plugging my, I'm plugging my new gym equipment line. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Selena, what was this like for you? I mean, did you ever not go home with your face sore from smiling. I mean, it seems like you would just have so much fun. <laughs> yes, to be honest, it was very fun. Um, I mean, constantly laughing, even in the silent moments, it was just comforting to be with these two because I mean, I was in quarantine, so they were the only friends I had during that time. <laughs> and, um, you were stuck. I'm back. Was <laughs> but I had I had a wonderful time and, and working with both of them, I think it, it made me want to step up my game more. It made me want to be quicker. Um, it was so much fun. And they they made me feel like I was a part of the game. After everything that these characters go through, how did you feel when you found out where it would all end up? Are you rooting for someone else in this building to be murdered so that you can all do another season? Woo! <laughs> I think there's a line in the show where you say, maybe we'll get lucky and somebody else will be murdered. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it seems like such a terrible thing to wish for, but at the same time, it would give you another season to hang out together. Right, exactly. Well, and also they're actors who are murdered, so it's a little yeah. bit different. Well, what was your reaction to learning how it would all turn out? Were you guys surprised with the outcome? Did you have a sense of where it was going? I was, I was surprised. surprised. And when I finally found out, I thought, oh, that's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I was so yeah. sad. We didn't really know until about the seventh show who did it. The three of you are also listed as EPs on this. So, Selena, particularly for you, what did you want to bring to the table creatively when it came to your role? Was there anything specific you wanted to have a voice in when it came to her? What was really wonderful is being able to create Mabel, as the show went on, I think that was what was really special because I think that now I feel more like Mabel than I had the first episode. When it came to her wardrobe, when it came to, you know, certain things that I didn't think were cool um, or somebody my age wouldn't say, I would, you know, I was very comfortable and and going to talk to the writers or John Hoffman and, um yeah, I just wanted it to be great. And hopefully if it continues, being able to be involved in who she is, is, is really fun for me. Steve, I love the show that your character, we get to keep seeing bits and hearing bits about the show that your character used to be on. And, and it seems that there are also many reboots happening of your old movies. Is there one of your movies that you wish you could revisit on your own terms? Movies, you can't just say, okay, we'll change it and make it better. It doesn't mean it's going to be better. 
It's like a movie like Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. It was just like the fun of making it, the, the way it turned out and everything. And I wouldn't change that. And But why would I go back and struggle with another movie trying to make it work or not work? I mean, I, I'm sorry I don't have a good answer for you, but I, I just don't go back. That's the thing. It's, that's my answer. I don't go back. That's a good answer. Well, Martin, what did you also enjoy about working with Nathan Lane and adding that kind of crazy relationship to the mix? Well, I mean, that, you know, Nathan is an old, old friend of mine, but we had never worked together. Um, so that was really, really tremendous satisfaction for me uh, to be have such a history with someone, but now create something new that you've never experienced before. Did you guys have music to listen to on set? Did anybody get to come up with a playlist that you listened to? <laughs> oh, Only Selena. Selena was the queen of playlists. And, okay, so uh, I will say I had great moments where I was, you know, singing some Billie Holiday, some Linda Ronstadt. Like I had my days, but every now and then I would spice things up and I would play some rap songs that weren't... Mm -hmm necessarily appropriate but the reaction was golden so i did <laughs> yeah. teach them a few rap songs one by cardi b the queen. yeah oh you're gonna hear about it selena you're gonna hear about it yeah yeah this is all over <laughs> a lot of complaints i love everything about sting playing himself in this including the fact that he's a bit unlikable in it yeah. how did he get involved was he did it just feel like he was game for all of this oh he was completely game for all of it he came to the set knowing every line of long speeches enthusiastic focused and endlessly being funny and charming yeah he was a lot of fun he had a great sense of humor about it and fun to be with off off the set off the screen too when we're not shooting Seems like you'd have to have a really good sense of humor just to. He does. He does. I, I've known him off and on for many, many years and always found him charming. He and his wife, Trudy Styler. Selena, after conquering the worlds of acting and singing, or at least doing pretty great at both of those things, are you surprised to add hit cooking show to your resume now? Yeah. <laughs> I have to be honest, I thought I was going to do one season of that and that it was just going to happen. But I had so much fun doing it that I wanted to keep going. So I am a little surprised because I'm not the greatest chef in the world, but I suppose that's what makes the show good. So um, I had I have a blast doing it. Never would I have thought that it would do as well as it did. Um, it's yeah, it's a lovely surprise. It's delightful, surprisingly. I mean, there's so many cooking shows and it just had a lot of fun watching it. Thank you. <laughs> this is also a very understated character for you. She's holding back a lot about her motives. So how did you gauge that as far as not wanting to make her seem uncaring or suspicious? She's hiding things. How did you figure out that balance? Uh, well, I definitely didn't want Mabel to be unlikable. So when the, you know, when the lines were a little dry and sarcastic, I, I tried my hardest to um, make it endearing, if that makes sense. Um, and I find that, that the moments that were real were genuine because I would have these moments that were so genuine with Steve and Marty and my character feeling comfortable um, with with them and telling you know them about her life and stuff. So, um, yeah. There's a perfect example of that where I say to Selena's character, I want you to be less mean. And her, her <laughs> response is, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Are you drinking rum, Marty? Yes, it's no bottle. Oh, oh, rum. Okay, I look like a rum bottle. Well, I appreciate you guys talking to me. I loved this. If there isn't another season, you have to get back together and do something together again because you're just delightful. So thank you. Thank you. You mean so that another you. another season in on Earth because of global warming, <laughs> or do you mean? <laughs> with the with with the show. Oh, okay, with the show. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank we you. enjoyed it. Bye.